In our work on heritage and action learning pathways to more sustainable lifestyles, one of the key things is um, how do history and heritage inform action learning innovations in the classroom setting? And here one has to go right back to the past. And um, in this case, what I'm looking at is the forgotten worlds of early agriculture in East and Southern Africa. And the histories of the colonial intrusion don't reflect this. They represent the indigenous people as nomadic, not as um, well-established uh, trade routes reaching back centuries, as well as um, people um, living um, sustainably in agroecological settings, um, sustainably for uh, extended periods, with much of that knowledge having been marginalized, particularly excluded from schools. Um, this is one of the key drivers when we're looking at relevance and we're looking at situated learning. Um, on these landscapes, you have um, old ruins and evidence that the colonials said were, you know, related to the unknown past, not part of the heritage of the um, Nguni cultures in particular, um, after the um, early cultures of the San and Khoi people. And of course, much of the indigenous knowledge that we're going to be drawing on is of the um, Oza, uh, the Pedi, the Sutu, Zulu, Pondo, Hlubi, Tswana, Indabele, and many others. But in our cases, we're mostly concentrating on the Zulu, the um, Swazi, and the, the um, Oza and Sutu. So what we look forward to is exploring the um, indigenous heritage that many indigenous scholars are now bringing to the fore. And the important thing is that we're not trying to represent these heritages in particular ways, but trying to actually stimulate how can we um, include, engage students in a deepening understanding beyond the way that the um, colonial system um, presented the indigenous people as primitive and um, migrating and yes, there were migrations, but they were well-established cultural heritage landscapes that um, bring forward a rich legacy of heritage that was marginalized and excluded. And a lot of it can be recovered from the forgotten worlds of early agricultural and ecological um, insights. And also from what people have brought out of their heritage into the home and try to bring that into schooling in meaningful ways that enable the students to learn more deeply and um, in more relevant action learning ways.